Hello there and welcome back to Building Boys. It's time for our weekly catch up. Um, we've done a lot since we last spoke um, and it's been hot. Sorry, I've got a Pepsi delivery just coming in here. Thank Pepsi. you, the boy. Cheers, the boy. Amazing. Um, it, we've done a lot since we last spoke, so I absolutely burnt through Doll's house. Um, they're not all up on the channel, I'm aware of that. Um, but uh, I have done 118 of the 120s. There are two left to go. Now, they're not all uploaded, but they are still... It's the editing that killed me. So doing them was easy. Uh, editing all the footage together is what took the time. It, it was... It was it's what it was. Um, and man, those Allen bolts look progress. <laughs> I really wasn't prepared for that, right? So I was like, I'll burn through this. The the process of those bloody Allen bolts, trying to get an Allen key behind that, that's evil. There, there's, there's at least 10 better ways of doing that than the way they chose to do it, which is just bloody weird. But it's what it is. <laughs> so it's uh, it's it's pretty much done. So the last two... Once I've finished doing this, I'm going to go downstairs and do the last two. Um, and then that'll be complete. Um, we've also completed the Botanical Owl, the Silverbird Botanical Owl. I can show you this one. Um, because the video, if it's not up already, uh, will be up by the time you see this. But I can show you the Botanical Owl. Look at that. <gasps> That's a beautiful thing, right? This is gorgeous. It's a tricky build, right? It's I'm not going to lie to you. It's a tricky build, but a rewarding tricky build. It's not a... Um, it's not something you can just switch off. Like I've built um, brick cars and buildings and whatnot where you can literally just disengage your brain and just go through. This one needs all of your attention or you will go wrong, um, which is good. I kind of want something that keeps me keeps me sharp, you know? Um, so it's, um, yeah, it's it's a good one. I've enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that one. Um, if the video is not up by the time you see this, it will be up immediately after you've seen this. But it's nice. There's some nice ones. The details are where you can get one from. And also there's a discount code for it as well. We'll be on there. Um, the other things we've been up to. So I've got the, I mentioned the last time we were here, the Formula One car competition. That's coming up. So that should, should be on the channel tomorrow night. So tomorrow night you'll be able to see that one and the details of exactly how you can win one of your own, which I've got right here. Uh, ah, you can win one of these. I've got two of these up for grabs and... Oh, the beautiful thing, the Bill the Boys key ring as well, will also be in the competition. So there'll be three prizes. There'll be two of those, one of those. Um, that'll be coming up very soon, very, very soon. Um, Lancaster Bomber arrived today. So I'm massively behind the Lancaster Bomber, but caught up a doll's house. Uh, I've, I'm exactly where I need to be with Gauntlet. I'm exactly where I need to be with Titanic. I'm exactly where I need to be with... Um, there is another one. The Tumblr. So I'm I'm caught up with all of them. The only one I'm behind on now is the bomber. And I have to catch up with the bomber because I've only done six bombers and I've got like I think twenty-two turned up today, and I'm like, that's a lot. So I've got, I've got like I've got like sixteen bombers to do, which is fine. Um I can I can no, I'm not I'm wrong. Twenty how many have I got? I've done eight bombers. I don't know. I don't know. Um but I I I can blitz through them, which is uh, no pun intended. Um, but that's that's the plan. So I'm I'm going to I'm going to get my teeth into the bomber. That is priority next. So bomber is going to much like the doll's house, blah blah blah, bang, bang, catch up, and then I am caught up. I'm exactly where I need to be, and I'm happy because it took ages to get to that point. Um, but that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, new models. <laughs> There's a couple. Uh, there's, I haven't got any footage of this. It doesn't look good. And I, I can't see it being, I can't see it launched over here. Hachette in Germany are doing a trial run on a T-Rex. It's a remote controlled T-Rex and it is the jankiest looking T-Rex I think I've ever seen, right? It's, it's bad. It's not good. Um, but it's a build your remote, remote control T-Rex. I'm assuming it's aimed at kids. It's big. Um, but it just, the movement of it is the funniest thing. It, it's the jerkiest kind of T-Rex movement. I'm like, that's bad. And they really put this emphasis on the fact that it blinks. And so, okay, there's this big, oh, he blinks. You see, you can see him blinking. 
Um, experts believe they never had eyelids. <laughs> so it's, it's an interesting one that, why that happens, but I don't know. You ever seen a snake blink? No. Um, so it, they're reptiles. But they make this really big thing about them having blinking eyes. And I, don't, I don't think they blinked. Um, it's not good. So I don't know. I, who knows? It might launch it, but I don't, I don't think it's aimed at adults. I don't think it is. But it could be. But it doesn't look good. The movement of it is bloody terrible. But it might just be the prototype, but it's not. It's not good. The other one that's launched today uh, is from those we typically don't mention, the people over at Fan Home. But I've got to mention it because I looked at it and thought, plot holes there, there's, you know, uh, is the Marvel collection. Um, so Fan Home have launched a Marvel collection today, uh, which is like the museum collection, they're calling it. So you can get like a little Spider-Man mask and a little Captain America shield and a little Iron Man helmet. And that's what they are. Buyer beware, right, is what I'm saying, because unlike other collections where it's just a case of this is how much they cost, this one has got a lot of issues that cost more than the other ones. So there's variation and fluctuation in the prices of the issues. So please read all the small print before you sign up to anything. Uh, it's fifteen ninety nine an issue, which seems bloody steep for what it is. Um, but that's, that's what it is. I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like a ton of free gifts. You know when we get, like, here's a small Lancaster bomber, here's a small tumbler, here's a small gauntlet, here's a... It looks like just a ton of those. That's what it looks like to me. Um, I might be wrong, but that's that's kind of what it looks like. Um, but they're fifteen ninety nine each. So you can get the first one at an introductory price when you sign up for, like, I think so, four quid. And it's Iron Man's helmet. But then every subsequent issue is fifteen ninety nine. However, they then say some of the issues are bigger than others, and those are nineteen ninety nine. And you're like, okay, so a bunch of the issues will cost you a fiver more than the other ones. So if you think that you get four issues a month for sixty quid, uh, with sixty four quid plus, it's going to be about sixty eight quid a month. Um, but then a lot of these issues are actually twenty quid. So if you think you're going to be paid 65 quid, all of a sudden you've got a bill for 70 quid. It's because one of the bigger ones has been thrown in there. They do tell you which ones those are, but I, I don't know how you, build, how you build an account for that because there's a lot at, at, the, at the higher price. Then they've got ones that say a double XL, which are 24 99 so nearly 10 quid more than a standard issue. And there's about 15 of those that they're just going to randomly throw at you as well. And I'm like... I don't know about this, man. So you might get a bill, land, and it's like, Jesus, I'm paying nearly 100 quid this month. And it's like, yeah, but you've got a little art reactor and a, a, a little Black Panther helmet. And and this is the weird thing, because some of them are bigger, bigger sizes. What's that going to look like on a shelf? You know, if, if rather more stay consistent, all of a sudden you've got one that's this big and the rest of this, I don't know. I don't know. There is the premium option as well, where you can just get an absolute buttload of Iron Man helmets. That's what it is. If you go premium, uh, there's like an additional, I think like 10 issues um, of just different Iron Man helmets. It's not for me. I mean, I honestly, space would be something you're going to need an abundance of. You're going to collect this stuff. If it's for you, it's for you. I mean, I'm not trying to dump on it. I'm just saying, buyer beware. When you look at it, be conscious of the fact that some of those issues, the price is going to fluctuate massively as you're collecting it. Um, so just be aware, because I can already see what's going to happen. The socials are going to go, how come I've just lost 98 quid out of my bank account? It's like, well, because that's what you signed up to and you didn't read the small print. So it's, um, yeah, buyer beware. That would be my advice if you're going for that. Buyer beware. Other than that, there is no new model news. We're in that weird kind of period now where it's it's models coming to the end with things like the Doll's House and the Stobart are coming to the end. Um, and nothing's really beginning uh, we are still technically in trial season, um, but I would imagine I would, it's weird that Hasha haven't launched anything. It's weird that they they finished the Doll's House, they finished the Stobart, yet nothing else has come out. is is unusual um, because typically that that ends and then something is along quite soon. That's not happened, so I wouldn't be surprised if any day something appears. Um, what that will be, I don't know, but I would imagine. If anything is going to appear this year, I mean, this this half, this quarter of the year, um, possibly the Interceptor, if you remember the Mad Max Interceptor, 
I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that one appear. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. We'd have to see the Batman, uh, of course, is the other one as well. So the, the large Batman figure that's been running in France. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that one appear. Um, but it, it's unusual that nothing's nothing's really came through. Agora, of course, are teasing the helicopter at the moment, so that's still it hasn't officially gone ahead. And they also previewed one that's ridiculously limited. I don't know what it is, but I think it's limited like seven or something like that. So not many people are going to get to do it. Um, but I don't know what it is. Uh, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. But it looks like everyone's gearing up for their next kind of push. Because Christmas will be, you know, when we see the next um, the next ones come through. Um, but that's that's all from those ones, really. Um, I've got apparently I've got two packs of Gauntlet turned up. I'd already paid for those haven't arrived yet, and it's already set me up to charge me for a third pack that I haven't had yet. Thanks, Fan Home, spectacular service as always. Um, I'm supposed to get the infamous Nano Gauntlet in. Um, in one of these boxes, we'll see. I'm supposed to get a mug, and I'm also supposed to start the premium stand. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, it's if it ever turns up. The weird thing was that, like I said, Lancaster Bomber turned up today, which was unusual because I actually thought it was going to be the Tumblr, um, but it wasn't. It was the I thought it was coming home to the Tumblr being here, but it wasn't. It was the Lancaster Bomber because the Bomber actually shipped after the Tumblr, which is weird. Um, but it also shipped on the same day as Titanic. Yet Titanic's not here. Go figure. So it was suggested to be Titanic will be here by the weekend. Um, and I've actually seen some footage uh, of, it's not my footage to share, so I can't share it with you, but um, I've seen footage of the Titanic um, almost complete. So I've seen uh, the smoke generators working. It looks beautiful. Really works as well. Really, really works. I've heard the CQD. I've heard the SOS. I've heard the... The horns, I've heard the engine noises, I've heard. it's looking nice. It's looking nice. So we're uh, we're on track for that one. Um, it'll be interesting because, I mean, again, we've got after this next delivery, that takes us up to 20. We've only got 20 to go, which is is nothing. It's five deliveries and we're done. You know, we're, we're finished with the Titanic, which is going to be emotional, but um, necessary. You know, it's, it's, it's what it is. Um, it gives me the, the beautiful opportunity now. So Titanic's not going to take long. The next ones that turn up really aren't going to take long. I know they're not. Um, because it's... Uh, if I can remember... And I can't. It's the motherboard. Um, uh, there's some struts for the... There's some supports for the... For the hull. Um, I can't remember. Oh bulkheads uh, it's not going to take long so that's not going to take long to do uh batman's the same so once i've done the fin i don't need to, so i can catch up those quite nicely which then gives me time to do the side things that i do so i will have a beautiful opportunity to build the marble run that got sent to us because i have had confirmation today from roker um that the um the connector kit is now available so that'll be coming so we can see both of those kits put together with the connector kit as well so we can see it lit up and all running beautifully that's something i'm looking forward to that'll be good um i've also got a book nook um that was halfway through building and stopped um but i will complete that one so i've got the sherlock holmes book nook and it's looking nice it's looking really nice so I, i'm looking forward to finishing that one i hate finishing a build halfway through particularly anything like that bothers the hell out of me but we had to. Um, so that will be finished. That will be up. Um, I have finished the... I've got the Fun Hole Steampunk Airship. That will be up on the channel as well. There's something rotating in my head that's distracted me. I've got to get it out. Do you know one of the weirdest questions I kept being asked from the Doll's House videos was, where did you get your shirt from? <laughs> it's not a particularly remarkable shirt. But funnily enough, this is so weird. I get a lot of emails about Where'd you get that shirt from? Right. And I'm like, I, I don't know. So the shirt, I'm, this is so weird. The shirt I'm wearing in the, the Dolls Earth videos, it's just like a floral shirt. Um, I got it from Big Dude. There's a website called Big Dude, right? I am a big dude. So there's a way I'm, I'm big, but I'm also tall. So I need I need a shirt that's got some length and I need big shirts. So that's where I got it from. I got it from Big Dude. Um, this is so weird, but that's where it came from. So, a bunch of where'd you get that? I'm not sure where'd you get the shirt from. That's where it came from. It came from Big Dude. The other one that I, I always, always, always get messages from, and I find this so weird. 
um, because I didn't realize he had such a fan base. Um, I get asked quite a lot. Whenever I wear the Robin t-shirt in a video, I will get three or four emails at least. Where did you get that Robin t-shirt? Now, I would imagine what it is, is there are people that collect Batman stuff and, and there probably are Robin fans out there. And let's face it, there's not tons of Robin shirts. Uh, but the Robin shirt that I wear in the videos, um, I didn't buy. It came in a um, it came in a loot crate. But it came from Zavi. It was a Z-Box. So it came from Zavi. So if you're going to find it anywhere, that's where you're going to find it. You're going to find it on Zavi. Um, but I, I do get bizarrely, and I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm hardly a clothes horse. I, am, I mean, I dress like Uncle Buck. Um, but I do get quite a lot of, where can I get that shirt? Where did I get, like, I, I don't know, man. It's like, I just, yeah. But that's that's what happens. I have got, funny enough, I've got some very nice shirts uh, on the way, which <laughs> this is so weird. I'm not a fashion channel, but <laughs> I've got some very nice shirts coming. I'll tell you where I got them from as well. So odd. Um, <laughs> that's what it is. Um, I had, Like I said, with the side builds that I want to do, I've got so many that I just haven't finished. Um, as I said, I've got the marble run I want to do. Um, I have to do the Formula One car. Um, I've done the steampunk airship. I've done the botanical owl. Um, I've got to finish the book knock. Uh, I've got a few other bits and pieces to finish. I've got one that I built from, but I bought from Mystery Build ages ago, and I never finished it. I had four Mystery Builds, and I never, I never got around to building the fourth one. And I want to because it's the only one that I have all of them that's practical. I can actually use it for something. Um, so that I want to do as well. So I'm hoping. In fact, I can. If all of these kind of, I think I'm going to get like a month's worth of builds to turn up in one weekend. And I'm like, okay. So it gives me time throughout the month to do the rest of them, which would be nice. Um, plus Lancaster. So I need to catch up with Lancaster as well. Um, but I've got, I've got some, I've got some really cute brick builds on the way that I bought from um, AliExpress of all places. But they're not, um, they're not knockoffs. So they're not, I've seen a lot of knockoffs on AliExpress, right? A hell of a lot, where it's like, it's blatantly a ripoff of a Lego model. I'm not interested in doing that. I'm not interested in building a brick model that is a carbon copy of one that already exists. That I'm not interested in. If you are, that's fine. And I think in a world where, you know, budget matters, if you want the model and you can get it for a lot cheaper for money, then go for it. Um, but this isn't that. This is, these are, are mocks, they're called basic MOCs where it's it's bricks, but it was it was never a Lego design. It's a unique design by a company that's made it happen to use bricks similar to Lego bricks. Lego don't own the monopoly on the plastic building brick. They just don't, right? So this is why these sets exist, why things like the botanical owl and whatnot can exist. Because believe it or not, um, no one's ripping off Lego because it was never Lego's design. Lego just marketed it better than everyone else. So Lego attempted to sue a bunch of companies like Megablocks and people like that for intellectual property and it's like you didn't design this this is not your pattern you can't do that so lego just marketed it better that's that's all it is um so lego's just a brand of of building block those bricks that now we all associate as lego are not they just marketed them better than everybody else and that's that's where it is but these ones that i've looked at um are beautiful so they're, they're little dioramas and they're of artists so they do four in the initial set and it was hard picking which ones I wanted to start with because I thought I'm not going to buy them all because they might suck. Um, so I bought one, um, and it was it was a toss up between two. I'm thinking I kind of want them both. And then eventually I caved and thought, sod it, I'm getting both of them. So they do the two I haven't bought. They do Da Vinci, so I've not bought Da Vinci, um, and they do Mondrian as well, which I haven't bought. Um, but they did. Um, Salvador Dali, which I have bought, so it's got the melting clocks and things like that, and I think that's lovely. Um, and they also did Van Gogh, um, and I thought I, I'm, I've got to have that one. It's the Starry Night, and it's beautiful. And it's you'll see when they get here, but they are they are very cute little little contained, and they have covers, and you can they're lovely. And you'll see when they get here. I just think they're very unique. They're a good price, and I just thought I like that. I really like that. And for something to go on the shelf, love it. I love my shelves. At some point, I will show you my shelves over there because they are like an enormous curio cabinet. The, the amount of weird stuff I've got over in these bookcases is is ridiculous. Where it's just things I've picked up over the years. And I was looking at the other day thinking there's so many oddities up here. And I'd, I'd like to show up. And I can now because even though nothing looks like it's changing here to you, 
the enormous doll's house that was taking up a huge chunk of real estate on the build room floor is now downstairs. It's now in its forever home. So I've, I've suddenly got a lot more space in here again, which is beautiful because <laughs> I needed it. And more space is being freed up all the time. So eventually Titanic will also live downstairs. Titanic's got a forever home downstairs. Once that's done, that's going downstairs. Ecto one's always going to stay in here in the case. Um, Tumblr will live in here as well. Um, the gauntlet will never be in here. It's, it doesn't belong to me. It's it's Oscar's gauntlet. So that's where that will be going. And I know I said I'm not building it on the channel. And I'm not. I'm sticking to my guns on that one until they sort out their, uh, their business model. Because I'm not happy with... Just because all of a sudden I get my stuff. If you're not getting your stuff, nah, I'm not going to do it. Um, but I can show you, I think, where we're up to on the gauntlet. So... This is how we are currently looking. I mean, look at the size of this bloody thing. It's insane. So this is that part of it. That's just that part of it. There's there's more to this. So that's that. I've also got this part of the, uh, the next finger. And check this out. This is the lower wrist. So... <laughs> Let's see if we can do this without the whole thing falling apart because it's not really attached together. But this will, let's give you an idea. This is how we're now looking. This thing is bloody enormous. Um, but it won't live in, it's really heavy as well. It's not going to live in here. Uh, this belongs to Oscar. It's not mine, it's Oscar's. Um, and that's, oh my God, the herniator. Um, so yeah, it's, it's Oscar's gauntlet, so we'll live in Oscar's room. Oh my god. So that's that one. Um, it is beautiful. I wish I could bring it to the channel, but as I said, I've got... All I've got is my, um... My morals, man. I've got, I've got my... i got my integrity and nothing else. And the reality of it is, is, is I am conscious. I don't refer to myself as an influencer by any means, but if... I'm building something on here and someone sees it and says, oh, I want to do that and goes and does it and then says to me, these people have just took 300 quid off me and I've received nothing. I feel responsible for that. So until they sort their, I'm going to swear, until they get their shit together, I'm not, I, I can't consciously go, hey, look at this, look how great it is, knowing full well of the problems that are currently happening. Now, I don't doubt that they will get their shit together. I think they probably will. I think, um... I would imagine business took a hit based on kind of what's been going on and you'd like to think they've learned from that and they will sort themselves out. Um, but until that happens, until I stop hearing, I've not had this. I've been charged three months, nothing's turned up. I, I've i been told that they're not... Con until that stops, I can't. I just can't. And I'm very, 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 very wary of building anything new from them at the moment until I feel... They've got it together. I won't be touching them. That's just that's just the way it is. Um, I'm going to reduce the amount of power works I do as well. So typically I have five or six power works on a go at any given time. Um, but uh, I am scaling that back. And the reason why is not, it's not financial. Um, it's because one, as I said, I'm not going to build anything through fan homes. So that sort of reduces my options um two there's nothing really grabbing me at the moment if i'm honest there's there's nothing screaming out to me that i'm like i have to do that it's just not there's just nothing there for me um that doesn't mean these models are bad they're just not appealing to me uh then they're, they're not it's not there so the ones i am very interested in doing is the dialect i really want to build the dialect i hope hashek get that and i hope it goes full run if that comes out i'm doing it um, and that would probably replace Titanic. Um, I'd also really like to do the Interceptor. So if the Interceptor comes out, I'd definitely do that one as well. Um, I'd still, I'm still doing Tumblr for another year, at least. Um, but Titanic ends this year, as does uh, the Gauntlet. Now, I'm doing the Bomber as well. So the Bomber will run through all of next year. The Tumblr will run until July of next year, I believe. If Dalek comes out, that's going to be two years. Um, an Interceptor. So I'd still be doing four, but one of them is going to drop out. So, you know, halfway through, I'm down to like three. 
and I'm kind of all right with that. What I'd like to do more of um, are the Roka builds, are the random kind of brick builds, are sprue kits and things like that. I, I want to I want to do more smaller builds um, because from the kind of the feedback that you give as well, I enjoy them. I enjoy a build that I can do in one sitting. I really do. I enjoy a build that I can do in two or three sittings. I've got the complete one as much as I do enjoy large scale modeling. It's three years until your project completes, you know. Um, so I, I want to do more of these things. I want to do more of the builds where we can build along. Speaking of which, Tortuga. Um, this is... Let me check the date. I'm just going to check the date quick. I'll tell you exactly when we're doing it. And I'm back. 20th of July is when we'll be doing the live build for Tortuga. So Saturday the 20th of July. I will confirm times and whatnot when that's going to happen. But that's when we can do Tortuga. Now my Tortuga is here. It's arrived. So what I'm also going to do, for those of you who haven't bought one yet, um, is I'm going to get the base plate out. So I can show you the base plate on the channel before we build it. So it gives you an idea of exactly what the footprint of this thing is going to be. Because I'm aware that this is a fairly large model. Um... <laughs> It's one of the largest of all of the, the ones that we have in the options. It is one of the largest. The largest would have been the Knickknack Music Machine. That was a lot bigger than Tortuga. But Tortuga's not small. Okay, it really isn't. Um, but at least I can show you the kind of, this is how big it is. <coughs> so you can make that decision for yourself. You think, well, actually, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. I can build that. Or you might think that's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'm not building that. Um, but mine's here. So my Tortuga's turned up. I've got mine. And I'll show you the base plate. Um, but I'd like to do, again, I'd like to do more of those. So I'd like to do more variety, basically. Um, I'd like to do brick builds. I'd like to do sprue builds. I'd like to do the foam board model builds. I'd like to do wooden builds. I'd like to do, I'd like to try everything. I'd like to try everything because I get asked a lot as well. What are these like? Have you looked at this? Have you seen this? Have you seen them? I'm like, well, I can't because I'm, you know, I'm, this is the way it is. But I'd like to do more variety. I think variety is the spice of life. And I'd like to, um, I'd like to do more because as I said, there's just no, there's nothing coming down the pipeline at the moment that's screaming to me. It's just not there. Um, and that's the way it is. Cause like, even like the Agora helicopter, it's not for me. I, as I've said before, I, I don't really go in for, um, uh, military vehicles. I don't, I know I'm building the Lancaster bomb and that's a bit weird, but for me, the Lancaster is kind of that crossover of military and almost pop culture vehicle. It's, it's that in our lexicon. It's just something I've got, I've, I've got adoration for. Whereas um, a modern kind of like war helicopter, no, nah, not really. It's it's not it's not something I'm interested in. Um, I'm not I I'm not big on space exploration either. So if they did like Challenger, which I've heard a couple times was rumored to happen, it's not for me. Space station is not what I'm interested in. Um, I'm I'm all about pop culture. You know, if if they did, do you want to build a proton pack? Yes, all day long. Um, that's, that's me. Do you want to build the car from Supernatural? Yes, I do. That's, that would be me. I'd be in on that, you know? Do you want to build the 18 van? 100%. I'd be all over it. But when it's just like, do you want to build this random sports car from 1963? Nope. That's, that's, that's kind of where I am. Christine is the ultimate. I want to build Christine, the Plymouth Fury from Christine. That's, that's my, that's my magnum opus. That's the one I want to do. Um, or do you, know, do, you want, do you want to build a roller coaster? Yes. Uh, that's that's where I want to be, but do I want to build, you know, the the third production Porsche that hit market in 1967? No, that, that's kind of no. Um, so yeah, there's, there's nothing really grabbing me. So that's why I'm going to scale back what I'm doing on the um, uh, on the part works because until this part works, I actually want to, I'm not going to build part with the second building it. So until there's one that I actually want to do, yeah, you know. But I mean, in the it's not like I'm scaling by that much. Like I said, I'm still doing Lancaster, Tumblr, Gauntlet. Um, I will do the Inceptor if it's released. I will do the Dalek if it's released. Um, but beyond that, there's nothing There's nothing screaming out. I'm still doing Titanic for the rest of the year. There's nothing screaming out at me. So I'm I'm going to look around. Look around and see what we can do. See if we can do something fun. I'm going to do some scratch builds as well. Um, I really want to build... Um, some book nooks based on movies. So I, I like the idea of scratch building some book nooks based on my favourite films. Speaking of which, I did say last year at some point I'm going to do videos about my favourite movies and I'm going to do that. I think I might mer merge it in with a build. So not only can I go, this is the, the movie I like, but can I build something from it? 
it doesn't have to be a huge worker model or something, but can we make something from it that goes in the curio shelf as we're talking about it? I like the idea of that. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, but it'll be, it'll, it'll be fun. So like I said, lots of fun things coming up. I, I am back now with, with my time is back in mind and I can, I can devote to the channel because the past couple of months it's, it's been spotty at best and I'm fully aware of that. Um, and I've missed it. I've missed being able to, to, to build and talk and yeah, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been a lot. Um, what I've been watching, still the walking bloody dead, but we are like at the end of season 10. So we've got season 11 to get through. And then those that live, and we're, we're we're there. I've seen it all before. The kid hasn't, so I'm waiting for him to catch up. Um, immediately after this, I'm going to watch uh, episode four, I believe. Might be five. I hope it's not five. I think it's episode four of Inside Number Nine. I can't recommend that enough. You can watch the entirety of Inside Number Nine on BBC iPlayer at the moment. If you've never watched it, go and watch it. If you if you enjoyed Twilight Zone, Tales of Unexpected, things like that. And you haven't seen Inside Number Nine, I promise you're missing out there. It's absolutely bloody fantastic. Every episode is set inside a different number nine. It might be the number nine train carriage, it might be a number nine hotel room, it might be no but watch it. You'll really enjoy it. The less you know about it going in, the better. Um, so we watched that film wise. Uh nothing. I don't think I don't think I watched any films this week, which is kind of now I'm now doubting myself because I know I did. I just can't think what the film was. But it couldn't have been good. If I can't remember, it couldn't it couldn't have been good. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I did watch a movie. We went to Chum Town Hall on uh, Sunday night to watch the wrestling. So we had our boys from EVW went to fight some guys from SWW. It was a good night. They had a world of sport match on, which was interesting trying to explain that to Jackie because he's like dad what's happening because it was the old kind of rounds and, and the very slow kind of submission pace and chain wrestling and he was like i don't understand what's happening here dad i'm like i ah, know but you have to appreciate that this is what you do this is where it came from so it was good it was fun and jack is uh fighting on january the 15th January, june the 15th june the 15th uh handsome jack heartthrob will be defending his title for the first time in a triple threat match. So he's fighting two guys at the same time. Uh, that both won his title. And what kind of sucks about that for Jack. Is that. He doesn't even have to be the one that's pinned to lose the title. If one of those pins the other one. He loses the bout. So it's 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 a tough match for him. Um, he's not delirious about it. But that's the fight he's got. He's got to fight two guys at the same time. Um, but I'm sure. I'm sure he'll do alright. Monster heel. He'll be fine. Um. That's about all from me. Uh, we have got loads more coming up. If I forgot anything or missed anything, I'm sorry. Uh, but we will be back very, very soon with... If it hasn't gone up yet, it's going up pretty much after this, the Botanical Owl. Uh, we will have the Steampunk Airship going up. Uh, we will have Lancaster Bomber going up. We will have Titanic up this week. We will inevitably have the Batmobile up this week. When it turns up, in my head now, I'm thinking the Batmobile doesn't turn up till next week. Uh, but Batmobile as well. Um, we will have the Formula One car. So tune in for this one. This should be either tomorrow night or Friday night. Um, but it will be this week. And on that video, it will tell you where you can go and win one. And you can also win a key ring wow 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 speaking of key rings those of you that watch this say scott you're supposed to send me a bloody key ring and you haven't yet i'm so sorry um i promise you they are being sent out this week i swear to you they are being sent out this week if i've promised you a key ring you're getting a key ring for those of you now going did you promise me one no if you haven't heard me say to you you're getting a key ring i haven't promised you i'm, I'm limited people i'm limited on how many key rings i've got i will get more you will be able to win key, people really want a key ring. Um, I will um I will get more key rings. We'll work out where you can get them. In fact, what I'm thinking of doing is changing up the colour or doing something to them so each one of key rings is unique. Um <laughs> the key rings are people like, I want a key ring. I'm like, I, I didn't realise I would have got more if I'd have known at the time. But they're all they're all handmade, they're all embroidered in leather and they're lovely. But if I promised you I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, I'll send them out this week. You will get one. Uh, if I haven't promised you, don't be messaging me going, did you promise me one? 
have you do you know I didn't? <laughs> That's what's happened there. But there will be opportunities to earn them, like I said, with this competition. There will be opportunities where you can get a key ring. Um that's all from me. Uh, if you want to contact us, you can contact us at buildboysoutlet.com. Um, if you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe. Helps massively. That's the other thing I thought that I forgot to say. We've crossed the 3,500 threshold, which is insane. It's massive. Thank you very much. Um, three and a half thousand subscribers is absolutely insane. And the only reason we were able to achieve that is because of all of you. It really is because you watch, you share, you do your things, you like, you subscribe. That's it's thanks to you. So the reason why we have a channel that's mildly successful is down to all of you. Because if we didn't, it would just be me talking to a camera on my own. <laughs> so thank every single one of you. Thanks to all three and a half thousand of you for subscribing to us, for watching us, for listening to my nonsense. It's it's very much appreciated. It's very humbling. It really is. Um, in a world where you could be anything at all, and I do mean this more than ever, so I'm going to say it again. In a world where you can literally be anything you want to be, just be nice. Please, just be nice. Um, and I will see you very, very soon for more from Bill and the Boys. Take care, and I'll see you soon.